G'day, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos, if so please subscribe. Welcome back. Now, before we start the next process, um, this has been less than 24 hours. And you can see how crystal, or basically how clear that is. You can see all the sediments fall into the bottom. You get a little ring around there because of the, the design of the um, container. But anyway, uh, as I said before, I'm not going to touch this or worry about this till um, oh, when I'm ready to put it into the still. That'll be the next step. You all enjoy. G'day all, how you all going? Um, now this is the next step. Um, I'm going to be transferring the wash into the still. So that's what the wash looks like at the moment. Now you see that ring of black there on the bottom. Now when we pour the tap, turn the tap on, We've got a little container we'll put it into and as soon as it runs clear then we'll take the container away and then that will be the stuff we want going into the brew. Now, also in here are these little beads. Now these little beads help it stop. Um, it's, it helps calm the boiling process down. It doesn't surge when, the, um, when you've got it boiling away it won't surge. Um, and that's what they do and then once we put it in there you'll see a lot of froth um, from the liquid and then we've got this solution right which will basically knock that froth out um, so you pretty much shake that up put about two or three lids of this in and yeah go from there so what I'll do is I'll zoom into here so you can see the process that should be about right Right, so you can see the process, what we're doing. A little bead can go back in. wasn't that much see what that does it pretty much stops it now I could have got out a bit earlier that's pretty much just goes to the garden the rest of it's basically crystal clear so I'll zoom that in again I'm going to keep an eye on this though because when it gets to a certain point I want to tilt the um, container I'll throw this out back it's just going to take a while to pour I'll rinse this out later Now, the thing with this one, in the, I find this is the best, better way of doing it than any other method I think out there. Um, you can pretty much control what goes in there, what goes out. Oops, I knew I forgot to do something. I'll take the lid off. Keep an eye on the black stuff on the bottom when I tilt it because I want to get the maximum amount I can get out of that liquid. I want 25 litres if I can, or a bit more, doesn't bother me. Um, so I've got to get the maximum amount as possible. So I'll continue on doing that. 
Okay, welcome back. Now that's almost drained out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up on there and tilt it a little bit so it will continue to drain out. So we want all the all the good stuff. Now I'll show you the next step as well, but um, I'll stop this, I'll take this off. Okay, now this is what's left in the bottom there. You can see we don't want any of the sediment in here. There's a little bit of liquid on top, but you can see all that black sediment. Um, when I was pouring it, I was tilting on an angle, I was watching how much that sediment was creeping up towards the, um, towards the tap. So. You pretty much, I'm happy with this, right? They can go into the garden, get, you basically rinse that up with a hose and you throw all that stuff into the garden. It's good for the garden. Now this has me stumped. The last, um, the sugar one we did, it was foamed up quite a bit. But this stuff here, it's actually supposed to stop this, um, the foaming process now. I'll just put two caps in there because honestly there's not that much there um, yeah and I'll put the lid on and we'll go from there and I'll show you when it's all hooked up um, and we're ready to head off then. I'll, wait, I'll hook it up I'll hook it uh, sorry. I'll put the put the lid on and we'll secure that I hope we can do that while I don't know, get the camera set up again differently but um, I'll put the lid on, secure that, and get the temperature going and stuff like that. That's my next step. Okay, we'll throw this on and we'll turn it all on and get it going. This here is going to be the outlet hose. Leave that there. Um, I don't need this yet, but I'll turn it on anyway. Now, this container here, you can sit there. Oh, no, I call it up here. Ah. Two 
turn the kettle off. Just trying to get all this untangled. Sort that out a bit. Um, I'll turn the kettle on. Everything's all I'm happy with that so far. So. Kettle's on. The outlet hose I'll set up in a minute. Um, I'll set that up first, the outlet hose. The kettle's on, um, pump's not on yet because I've got to turn the water, get the water to flow into there. It's going to take an hour for that to heat up. Now you can hear it heating up. You can hear, hear all that bubbling away there, and that will take about an hour. So it's 9.30 now, or 20 to say, almost 20 to, to 10. So 20 to 11 I'll be ready to um, start producing alcohol, which is going to be take out. We won't start till that happens, the process happens. Um, I'll show you that. And you can see the temperature at the moment, it's sitting on 25. Mm -hmm. All the lines can see the temperature better. Might drop that down for the camera. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. Because that's the key thing for this one. You want that. You want to keep an eye on that temperature. Um, pretty much now, once when it starts to boil, you want to keep an eye on that and make sure it stays between, I think, what was it, 55 and 65. I found the best temperature so far with the steel was, I think, 59 to 61. Right, they're the best temperature, that's when I was getting a constant flow of alcohol out. So when we get to that stage, I'll zoom into there and I'll show you all that. I'm just going to quickly set up the rest of this, take the... Um, Take one of the hoses out, put that in the pot, and let that drain out into the garden. And the other hose will hook up to my um, to my garden hose. Anyway, we'll show you the next step. As you can see, this hose here simply goes out into the garden here. I'd like to make it longer though. I would like to have it's only a five meter one. A ten meter one would be nicer. Then I could just put it under one of these trees and it wouldn't worry me. But anyway, any of that, all that water will eventually soak up by trees and everything else by here. And over here, if we keep walking, is the hose link one. Now, the hose link one won't come off, won't come off, it won't, 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 um, uh, won't, 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 you say, won't let any water come out of it. Um, I find one of the best things out, but it will leak from, I think it's like leaking from that silver section there. If it does, eh, not much I can do about it. So what I'll do here, uh, this is a garlic bed I've been working on. Um, this one here I worked on here, basically it's all sandy soil this. And I had garlic in there, so I dug all that up, put some, um, some stuff down there, the cow poo. And then put a little bit of some of the sandy soil back onto it. Let the filtered stuff mix that in with my um, chicken poo. I still got to do these two other beds. I got garlic in, but I'll wait till it cools down. It's a little bit too hot for that. But anyway, enough of that. Still rambling along about other things here. So I've done all this bed. Same process basically. Dug it up. Um, some part of it I did filter it through, like a it, but most of it I just pretty much dug up. Put some cow poo down there, got rid of the weeds and all that. So, uh, got to dodge everything here. I should have hooked up the pump to it. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. So, what you want to do is you want to turn this on about a quarter way. About there should do the job. Uh, we'll turn that on, which we don't need that much pressure. We don't need any pressure really from here, just got to fill that up. Just got to dodge the bees. And everything else here. So I'll set this, we'll go back inside and then I'll set all that up. Absolutely beautiful day. Okay, that's still leaking, which is not what I was after.
now I'll just turn the pump on, I hope that might stop the leaking. Which is um, the only thing I've found, yeah, I have stopped it. This thing here it does tend to leak. Which I know it's not leaking because of the pump on, I think. But it's, since I put on some new hose and all that here, um, it tends to leak a little bit, which is highly annoying. Um, the whole idea is not to let it to leak. And you can see it's flowing into here, flowing into here, it's coming over there, and going back up into this tube and flowing out of that tube over there. The temperature's steadily climbing too, so we'll watch that now. I'll be really careful on that one. Move the camera so you can see what I'm trying to do here. And see how it's now getting to the 30s? Now the top of that um, water flow regulator, um, we've got to keep an eye on the, uh, how much water is going through there and how, how hot that's going. You don't really need to turn the pump on now, but I prefer to have it on. It's already running, so if there's any problems, you can deal with it beforehand. Um, and this will just keep, 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 keep increasing in temperature. I know the water's not getting wasted, it's going straight into the garden, it's not going down the sink or anything like that. Um, which I like, I, I prefer to have it this way. Um, if it was a cold windy day, I could close the garage door and it wouldn't affect the two pipes. Um, I just prefer to have it like this, you know what I mean? So all we do now is wait. Welcome back. Now you can tell the temperature there at the moment, it's in 28. Still got a while to wait yet for it to um, do anything. You can hear the bubbling um, of that. Now the pump I noticed, if I unplug that, the, if I unplug this sort of thing, that there will basically start leaking. And since it's plugged up, it doesn't leak. So I think it might be to do with the pressure. Now, oh, that's hot. Now, when the ethanol comes out, when that gets to the right temperature, I um, should say, another 15, uh, 20, uh, 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes, um, the ethanol's going to come out here, and I'll quickly film that coming out. Um, and then I'll keep an eye on the temperature and all that. I can adjust the water flow with that little knob at the top up there. So that's the main thing, as long as I can keep the water flow and keep the temperature exactly where I want it, um, then I'll work out exactly how this is going to go. Um, as soon as it hits 150 mil, I'll change it with this big bucket, and uh, that'll be all the ethanol out and stuff like that. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll just keep, we'll show you that when it starts coming out. Okay, welcome back. Now the temperature is 29.5. You can hear the difference in the still. Um, and the ethanol is slowly starting to drip out. So what I'm going to do is leave it on there so we can see the ethanol come out. I'll keep an eye on the temperature is 29.6. So the ethanol is going to come out now, and um, back in a second. Okay, now it's hit 30 point, or 31 now. So what I'm going to do is just let that um, do its thing, and we'll have a quick look at the ethanol as I said before. Um, 
try and get this right. So you can see it come out. When it gets to 150 mil, I'm going to swap it with the other bucket. But now it's going to worry about this temperature. And hopefully, I'm going to show you the temperature. Right, we're here. We always come back to that. The pump works brilliant. Just that when you put the water into there, you want to turn the pump on uh, when it gets to a certain point. So it keeps that pressurized. Um, I think it's the, the pressure in it. So now, temp sitting on 35. Let's bring that down a little bit. 36. So that will build, basically now it's going to build up the temperature pretty fast now. Um, you can see it's on 40 already. And I'll leave it here, I'm just watching the ethanol, so when the ethanol does come out you can see that. There's the other bucket. Temperature is uh, 52 at the moment. It's gone up to 54. So. Temperature at 59. Now you can see the ethanol coming out. I'm just playing around with the uh, adjustments so I get to uh, see how high it goes to the temperature. It's got up to 61 now. I'm going to keep an eye on that temperature um, gauge. I'll show you that now. See the ethanol coming out. I'm not going to do anything with the ethanol. Like the ethanol basically when it gets 150 mil goes into a little container that we've got underneath the uh, laundry sink. Now that's a 63. We don't want it that high. Now, as you can see, I'm just adjusting this. You don't have to adjust that much. Now, it's going up to 64. I don't want it that high. I don't want it higher than 65. And I don't want it lower, lower than six, uh, 55. It's on 65 at the moment. I want it to go down. It's not going down. I'm just watching the temperature. So I've got to keep an eye on that temperature. <laughs> got that hot bloody melt of this thing. <laughs> now 
I'm also keeping an eye on how much mills I'm taking out. Now that's 150 ml of alcohol. Um, I'll put just a fraction over. Now this one, taste it. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm just going to keep an eye on the temperature. I'm going to cool down. I don't want to cool down too much, we don't want to overheat it too much. We'll see where this drops down to. And then we'll see where it goes back up or not. As before, this ethanol here goes into a um, jar for cleaning. Drop it down a fraction more. Might want to try to keep on that um, on the 59 mark if I can. It's just finding that sweet spot for um, the current, for your, for your brew to get a constant flow of alcohol. That's what you're after. Once you've got that sweet spot, you don't have to worry about it. You can sit back, relax, put your feet up. Currently she's sitting on 90, uh, 50, uh, 59.3, 59.4. Let's see what she does. I'll let this run for a little bit, then we're going to have a look at. Um, let's sit back and wait. Now, the basic process now is just getting that temperature right, getting the uh, flow right of alcohol. And we just wait. You don't have to turn it much actually to, to adjust it. I don't want 57 or anything like that, it's too low for me. So some people prefer a high temperature, some people prefer a lower temperature. 
It's all up to you what you prefer. Whatever you still producers are the best at at that given time and space. So I think the warmer day is a bit better for it. And we're on about, about 200 and almost 300 mil so far. a little bit more on a bit higher. Just a fraction higher temperature. So I want to get that temperature. I want it, the lowest temperature I want to be really 94. And that's the key. Let's see what this crisp is up to now. And um, once I get it right and it sits on there for a while, then I'll be happy with it.
Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at this temperature. 58.7. It's not too bad. The alcohol's flowing reasonably well. And we've got 400 mil so far. Don't drop too low. That's it, perfect. Oh, I wanted 94. 90, yeah, 59.94. A bit more. as long as it's stable and it's stayed between two points you should be right you can walk away for it for an hour just basically by 12 o'clock or one o'clock the latest this should be finished so 60.7 another 61 that's not too bad coming out nicely and uh, sitting on 61.3 at the moment so I'm just going to let that do its thing on 61.4 I'll let that do its thing and um, keep an eye on it as, as I'm just going to sit back and keep an eye on it and relax and uh, yeah, just let it do its own thing I'll show you um, the end result when I've got enough out of it and we'll show you the alcohol content which will probably be 90, 92, maybe even 90, even higher than that. Welcome back. Now the time is what, just on 12 o'clock, about four past 12, and we're almost up to the three litre mark, as you can see here. I'm thinking of capping it at the three and a half or three six. I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, I'll think about it. Uh, probably three and a half I might cap it at. You can see how crystal clear this is. It smells nice. And that's just coming out nicely. That, that it takes about half a day really to do it when you want to sit down and do it properly. The temperature's been sitting pretty constant up to like 60, it goes from there, it goes about 61.4 um, up to 61.7, but it's pretty much been constant around there. This here has sort of stopped leaking, it started leaking again and stopped leaking so. I have to figure out why I can make that a permanent thing so I can make it so it won't leak at all. Um, I might have to replace something or I'll put something there, I don't know yet. But as you see, the temp temperature's going good, the still is going good. We're getting good crystal clear alcohol out of it. It tastes good, it's nice and cold, and it tastes really, really nice, yummy um, coming out of it. 
and you can see the water flow is going nicely. Um, yeah, other than that, we're just going to sit back and wait until it hits that mark. When it does, well, I'm ha happy with it. Um, when it gets to about so, 3.5 to 3.6, I'll take it, I'll stop it all, and then I'll give it a test. I'll allow the pump to run to keep cool it down a bit, but um, yeah, I'll stop, I'll stop the still and um, yeah, we'll test it out, see how, what the quantity of alcohol it is. And it's still bloody warm, I can tell you that now. There's not much, there's actually uh, no wind. <laughs> but that's okay, I can't complain. Let's just drop down to 60.4. We got 60.46, sorry. I didn't do 60.5. You know, I don't mind sitting on that temperature at all, up to 60 point, uh, 61, um, up to there, I don't mind at that. I think the best temperature probably was, for this one, for the amount of alcohol flowing out, was I think 61.4 today. Uh, anyway, I'll be back and we'll have a test and have a look at how much alcohol we got, versus how many litres, and well, alcohol volume versus how many litres. And then we've got to work out uh, how much water we've got to put it through the charcoal filter. Oh well, we'll be back. Okay, welcome back. Now, that's done and dusted. I stopped at just, what is the fraction over 3.5? I'd say, we'll call it 3.5. Um, don't think I was going to get much more out of that. Now, I'm going to test this with a smaller one of these. I've got the big one there which I'll pour into there as well and I'll test it with that so I want to get a, the best reading I can get for it. If this one works in here, it doesn't sink to the bottom. Okay, it's no good. <laughs> that one sinks to the bottom. Uh, it's going to be no good for what I wanted to do. I was hoping it would be, be, be small enough to sink into this one here, so that didn't work. But I've always always like to have two or more things. So now I'll tip some of this out, and we'll fill up that little chamber. All right, let's press the leg. We've cleaned this, so this is all we're working out now. The alcohol volume, how much water we want to put to the alcohol to get it to 40 litres. We want to, so we've already worked out litres, how many litres we've got there. We just need the alcohol content. Might be so I'll test this one out and then I'll test my other one out. that to stop bouncing up and down. Let's say that's 90. Now that one shows 90. Not that easy to get out this one, small one. I might have to get a different um, thing for it to drop into. So I'll give these a good rinse later. I'll test this one out. Yeah, I should have stopped at three. Yeah, because the flavour was changing a lot. Actually, this one says uh, 91, 92, 93. Wow. So, I 
This one is not as accurate. This, this one here is not as accurate. It gives me a better, I think, yeah, we'll have to somehow test this out properly. Mm, but I'll find this one a bit better because the, the numbers are, I don't know how this works. Um, so, we're looking at, we're looking at 93% proof. Now that's not too bad. <laughs> now, now I'm going to divide it by, it's going to divide it by 40 minus 3.5, I'm going to call that how many litres. So, let's get a calculator, and we want 3.5 times that, come on, wait to get away, by 93. My, uh, divided by the fiber. Yep. Divided by forty minus three point five. Equals. We need to put in four liter, four point six liters. Let's say. Um, uh, yeah, 4.6 litres of uh, water. That's it. Done. Dust it. Um, that surprises me. Take this one out. We know that it says 93. This is an old one. Maybe it could be, the, I don't know what the difference is. But, let's try to put that into there. Let's see if we get 93 on this one. Make sure it's I don't know if it's the chamber itself or I can't read it properly, maybe. Well, it's over 90. No. It doesn't seem to want to sit properly, it seems to want to sit to the wall. Ninety one, ninety two. Yep, I okay, go ninety one, ninety two, ninety three. Yeah, so that's about the same ninety three. Anyway, you all have a great day now. Um, I'm gonna go have some lunch. The still's off. Um, turn the pump off. The water supply is turned off. Uh, let that still cool overnight, and I'll turn the heat thing off there. Temperature gauge, I'll turn that off and just let that still cool overnight. And tomorrow I'll clean up everything, empty it and clean up all the buckets and all that. Anyway, thank you again for watching my videos. Um, my name is Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Um, yeah. So to cap it all, out of 25 litres of alcohol, or a wash, I could say, we end up getting 3.5 litres. I could have got a bit more if I wanted to. Um, but I didn't really want to push it. And the alcohol content, or the, yeah, the alcohol content is 93%. And then we divide that by, so like you times 3.5 by 93, you divide it by 40 minus 3.5, and that gives you the water content. So we're going to add 4.6 liters of water to that, so that will give us 7, 8. 1 litres of 40% um, or maybe a bit higher than that um, proof um, alcohol. That's not too bad at all. Anyway, thank you again for watching my videos and um, all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.